Big one, the big one that everybody was talking about was the Pop Smoke album. Everybody was excited to get to the Pop Smoke album. Um, I was excited to get to the Pop Smoke album. It, it was the one that everybody had been talking about. It was the one that he was working on when he unfortunately got slain or earlier in the year. So I was looking forward to that Pop Smoke album. Had a lot of features on there. Um, Quavo, um, 50 Cent, Carol G, which was a shock. Um, so it had a lot of artists on there I was not expecting. Uh, but the Pop Smoke album was good. Um, I understand that it was a little bit more polished than what a lot of people expected. You know, like I was expecting Fabio to be on an album, you know, another Brooklyn uh, bread artist. I was expecting uh, Lil TJ, I think is a New York artist as well. I was expecting a little bit more of the drill sound that made Pop Smoke the man. You know, when Welcome to the Party came out last year, that was something we hadn't heard. We had heard the drill sound before, but we had only associated that with the UK artist. We had never seen uh, a, a New York based artist or an American based artist take that sound for his own. So it was good to see that. Um, so I was expecting a little bit more drill based. I was expecting something to be like, all right, cool. Like this is the sound as New Yorkers that we're coming up with. We're bringing this sound in. Um, so it was a little bit more polished than what I thought it was going to be, but it was a good album. Um, the takeaways from it, um, I think 50 Cent did a good job as EP. He was the executive producer for this. Um, I think with 50 Cent being a part of it, he, uh, he was able to get everything cleared for, uh, for Pop Smoke. So all those samples, he did a lot of samples in there, a lot of samples. Um, so he's getting everything cleared for him. I think that that's dope. Uh, I hope that doesn't take away too much from his money. I hope those sample clearances weren't a lot. You know, he had a couple of 50 cent clearances. So hoping 50 gave him the benefit of the doubt. Obviously, he didn't do it for free, but hopefully he did it lower than what he would have normally did it for. You know, something like that. Um, there was a lot of sampling on there as well. Um, so I was curious to see how that was going to go. Very curious to see how that was going to go. Um, but all in all, it was a great album. Like it was a great album. Like I said, I wish it wasn't so polished. I wish we had more of that drill sound. I wish they would have had the UK drill artists on there. Um, I wish that they would have had like, you know, like that New York flavor. Like I don't, I wasn't in New York last summer. Like I didn't, but I had sense enough to know that Pop Smoke came to New York. Like he brought that, like he brought a whole different style. People have been complaining about New York radio, New York artists for a while, saying it sound too, you know, Southern or whatever. They going with the flow. Um, they hadn't been, they weren't given like the traditional like New York sound. There was not a New York sound. Pop Smoke changed that single handedly. I mean, there were other artists that was coming out, obviously the Casanovas and everybody, they had their own sound, um, but Pop Smoke was different. He ushered in a wave of sounds and artists. He ushered in a way for artists to express themselves. Um, and he was gone too soon. So I wanted an album to speak to that. I wanted an album to be like, yo, this is Pop Smoke, this is New York, like, this is New York in 2020. This is what we listening to for the summer. Like, you know, granted, we don't really got no summer, but this is what the summer is in New York. It's gonna be this hard drill music, it's gonna be the music that's gonna make you wanna dance, get up out your seats, boom, 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 boom. We didn't get that, not at the, not the Pop Smoke album, um, but it was still a good album. Uh, I started off the, the show today with his uh, song. I think it was Stop Snitching, Snitching, something like that with Quavo and Future on it. 
um, that's a hit. That, that's a certified hit. Even then, I don't know if that's something like in New York that's going to be played. You think about these artists. When they release these albums, you know, they're releasing it to the world. They want to hear it in the world, but they also want to be like respected when they're at home. Like they imagine like when I'm at home, I don't want to walk into the club and you playing a record because I'm here. I want to be able to hear this record. Um, that. I want to be able to hear this record to like, I want to be able to hear this record in the clubs. I want to be able to party to my own record. I don't want people to be like, oh, such and such is here. We got to play his record. No, 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 I'm releasing this music. I want my home, hometown to be proud of me. I want my home to be like, nah, run that, play that, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's why these artists are putting these songs out. So it's unfortunate. And I do mean it's unfortunate that the album probably doesn't have that gritty New York sound, but that's a solid body of work. That's a great album. It, it hit everything. One of my favorite songs was The Woo um, because it was different. Like it was him singing. It was him testing out vocal ranges. You know, like it was just, I don't know. It was just different. So. I wish that um, I wish that they had more of that New York sound, but from when I saw, I saw Fabio say something, who once again Fabio is a Brooklyn-based artist. Uh, Fabio said something along the lines of, "You know, we got some more in the tuck, so we gonna play that." Cool, I'm ready to hear that. I'm I'm wholeheartedly ready to hear that because I want to hear that. I want to hear um, what two New York-based artists would have done besides you know remixes or jumping on other records like i said you know Lil tj got a record with pop smoke as well like i wanted to hear that you know pop smoke was only 20 i think 21 20 that's way too young um the dude was smoking on top of the on top of the world as far as the underground because he hadn't even crossed over yet he wasn't even a major name. He wasn't even a major artist. They wasn't even playing his videos everywhere. You know, it. he was just starting to ascend. So, man, you know, first of all, like I said, rest in peace. Rest in peace to that brother. Um, and yeah, man, like, I just wish that, I wish that that album would have had more of the New York gritty sound. Um, I'm not on like a, a, a scale or anything like that. That was just a solid album, straight up. There's no there's no better way of explaining it. That was a solid album. That was a great album. Um, and recipes to uh, Pop Smoke.